Hey. So today, uh, I want to talk to you about why it's so important to pick up the phone and call your clients and not rely on things like text messaging, emails, and Facebook messaging. But before we start, why don't you just check out that giant sunflower behind me. That thing is taller than me, and I'm six foot three. That's pretty badass. The bees are really enjoying it as well. Anyway, back to the topic. So let me start off by describing a story to you. So, let's imagine that a group of your really good friends are playing a get-together, and they, they invite you along, of course. But uh, you're already booked that night. You've told your significant other that you're going to hang out and spend time with them. So you choose to do that. Anyway, the next day, your friend calls you and says, Hey, we really missed you last night. It just wasn't the same with, without you there. Now imagine how that would make you feel. I know personally that would make me feel pretty awesome that they missed me uh, and that they had wished that I was still there. And there's a reason for that because humans are social animals. It feels good to um, socialize in a positive way with someone else. Okay, Giving someone a gift, um, spending time with someone who you trust and feel like you can be yourself around. Now... This is what I'm getting to with your clients, okay? Because <clears throat> if someone calls you to tell you that they missed you, they've gone out of their way to make a phone call to you rather than just sending you a text or a message or not bothering to contact you at all. Imagine that with your clients. One of your clients misses a session, and instead of you just ignoring it, assuming they've got a good reason and they don't want to get bothered, or you sending them an email and hoping, you know, that they're going to reply to it, you actually pick up your phone, take that five, ten minutes out of your already busy day, and ask them, and say to them, hey, look, we, we really missed you this morning, like, Kyle was asking where you were, you, you know, we did this cool team workout, uh, I hope, you know, I just hope everything's all right, um, and, you know, and that's, that there is a great voicemail, if you, if you get their voicemail, which usually during the day is what you'll end up getting. Um, yeah. Don't, don't rely on just a text message. It only takes like a few seconds to, to send. Or an email that takes even less time. You know, you can just bulk batch an email out to everyone who missed the boot camp that morning. Um, there's no personalization. And, um, and our bodies are wired in a way that we know the difference between when someone's put time and effort into caring about us, into helping us, and the difference between, you know, when they've just done something quickly to get it out of the way. Instinctively, we know that. I'm going to share with you a video below that talks about, um, in a very fun way, talks about the hormones and the way our hormones react when people treat us this way. And I really recommend you spend the time watching it, um, at least for a minute 31, because, um, that's the bit that probably applies to us most as trainers. So yeah, we are social beings. Be social. Serve your clients. You know, don't just train them. Serve them. Change your mindset. and Look after them like they were your friends. Like they were your really good friends. They also your family. Most people treat their really good friends better than their family. So think of them as your really good friends. And that you care about you know, if they miss a PT session, not because they're not paying you, but simply because you care about their success in their health and fitness goals. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. Take that away. No judgment. Don't judge them. Whatever their response is for you, to you for skipping a session. Um, just let them know that you, that you care. Okay. Don't make it about you, make it about them. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you can take something away from that. And until next time, bye.